why am i here i want all the fools to hear me all those prophetic fools listen to me we have come here to trigger the bullet so that the bullet will be shot to the nations of the earth the lord asked me to come here to kenya so i didn't come on my own that's why he don't threaten me with sending me back i have a home that's why no devil can push me back because he that sent me is more than all the devils in combination i didn't come on my own I am sent. There is a generation lying in this nation. The Lord said to me, my army is lying down dead. Go, preach, pray, and prophesy until they arise. We didn't come here to make money. We came here to raise an, an army. For now, this is my territory. In fact, listen, before God, I am more legit to be here than those devils. So any lunatic saying going back to Nigeria is a fool because we are not going back, we are going forward. Until the knowledge of the glory of the Lord covers the earth as the waters cover the sea, we shall go forward, 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 forward. They are warriors in this land that have been wasted by pastors and bishops, wasted by con men, and God has come to kindle the fire upon their lives and raise them up to cry His word across the nations. You may not like me this morning, but God set me in Kenya to set in order that things are lacking. I know my calling. I know my mandate. Because you don't know your own, that's why you attack me. The authentic apostles in Kenya are going to arise. The authentic prophets are going to arise. The genuine prophets are going to arise in this nation. And the case of her shall not prevail against it. There will be apostles not by titles, but by content. There will be fiery stones of Zion scattered across the land to impart the nations of the earth. Let God arise and let his enemy be scattered. Welcome to the End Time Truth Television, the channel for the lovers of truth, for the truth of the end time. So if you are a lover of truth, give us a subscription and God bless you. Shalom. Aaron never chose to be called. God spoke to Moses and called Aaron. Aaron never said, I am a prophet. Aaron never went to a Bible school to carry a title. The Bible used that to tell us when it comes to a divine call, you don't take it upon yourself. If God were presented options, where would I like to do ministry on earth? I would say the United States of America because we want dollars. But because once you are called of God, you cease to exist. You become a slave of his will. And the Lord asked me to come here to Kenya. So I didn't come on my own. I didn't take the honor on my head. That's why he don't threaten me with sending me back. I have a home. As if this is the everlasting. My father has land. Are you understanding me? I'm not a beggar. I was established in ministry before I came here. Well established. I took my first million to the bank at 23. I didn't steal the money. Before I hit 28, I have written 10 books. 10 books. So I'm not a baby in ministry before I came to Kenya, my friend. So I didn't choose to come. He sent me. No one take this honor upon himself. That is why no devil can push me back. Because he that sent me is more than all the devils in combination. Are you understanding me? So I'm not here on my own. I am sent. Be careful of men God sent. Be careful of what you say about them. Because you are attacking the throne of God. I didn't come on my own. I am sent. There is a 
a generation lying in this nation. The Lord said to me, my army is lying down dead. Go, preach, pray, and prophesy until they arise. I have come to preach. I have come to pray. I have come to prophesy. And that army is coming up. So I didn't come on my own. No one take this honor upon himself. No one. That is why no matter how they rise, they fall. Because we're not the one fighting the battles. He will send you, always defend you. He will send you, always fight for you. He contend with those that contend with you. That is the way it is here. So, so we don't lose sleep. Are you understanding me? No one take this honor. If I have come to Kenya, because I'm looking for a foreign country to preach, then I'm a con man. Is someone hearing me? If I came to Kenya for economic improvement program, I'm a con person. Most preachers leave their country to other country to look for money. That is why when the police search on my account, they can't find any money. They say, man of God, go. We check all your account, there's nothing. They lie to us that you are stealing. No money lasts in the church account for even one week. We deploy it. Because there are souls to save. There are people to rescue. Are you understanding me? So we didn't here to make money. We didn't come here to make money. We came here to raise a, an army. That's why we are laying down our lives. So no devil can push us back. No one take this honor upon himself. So you don't go into ministry on your own. You don't become an apostle on your own. You don't become a prophet on your own. You must be sent of God. And whenever God sent a man, God gives the man a territory. For now, this is my territory. In fact, listen, before God, I am more legit to be here than those devils. Before God, before God, I'm more legit to be here. Because he, he asked me, go. You, you, did he ask you go? You were just born. You were just born in Kenya. That is all. And by virtue of birth, you are now preaching. There's no mandate. Stay here. If you are an apostle, apostles are sent to the nations. Let God send you to another nation. Come to Nigeria. You come to Nigeria. It's all of talking nonsense. I say we'll send you back to Nigeria. You go to Nigeria and preach. Don't remain in your village. Go to another nation. Go to Russia. Go to North Korea. Go and preach. Stop making noise. Those are con men. They are things they can threaten us. Dogs don't threaten lions. They are brought shame to the body of Christ. But thank God the glory of God is going to appear to clean the body of the shame. That is why he's going to wipe them away. Clean the system. Bring some David and some Samuels. May you hear the call of God upon your life. May you hear the call of God upon your life. What is the call of God? To cause a change. What is the call of God? Let me hear you. Rise on your feet and declare what is the call of God upon your life? Can I hear you shout it louder? You are going to be a new breed without greed. You are going to be an incorruptible seed on the face of the earth. If you are going to be a preacher, you will preach the uncompromising gospel. If you are going to be a messenger of God, you will preach his message without compromise. May the anointing to cast change come upon you. Lord, we bring the remaining 700 who have not bowed down to bear. Wherever they are in this nation, let them begin to hear your voice and begin to come together. In the name of Jesus. There is a move of God. Even if you remove me, you can't remove the move. We, the, you see, this is an aircraft. It's already flying. You can't stop it. God has put it on autopilot. Can I hear a good amen here in the house? So he has put it on autopilot. No devil can stop this aircraft. No devil can stop this aircraft. 
can I tell you something? Until the knowledge of the glory of the Lord covers the earth as the waters cover the sea, we shall go forward, 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 forward in the name of Jesus. Jesus said the Son of Man came to seek and to save that which was lost. That is why I'm here. There is something lost. The Lord set me here like Paul said Titus. He told Titus, I have set you in Crete to set in order the things that are lacking. You may not like me this morning, but God set me in Kenya to set in order the things that are lacking. I know my calling. I know my mandate. Because you don't know your own, that's why you attack me. Go and look for your own mandate. Fulfill your own calling. They are giants in this land. They are warriors in this land. They have been wasted by pastors and bishops. Wasted by con men. And God has come to kindle the fire upon their lives. And raise them up to cry his word across the nations. I have told you before. I have told you before. Let me clean this board and show you something again. Let me repeat myself. What is the connection between Kenya and Nigeria? Why am I here? I want all the fools to hear me. All those prophetic fools, listen to me. Why is God connecting Kenya and Nigeria? If you look at the map of Africa, this is a rough map of Africa. Nigeria is here. Kenya is somewhere here. Nigeria is a trigger. Kenya is a bullet. That is a connection. That is a connection. Nigeria is a trigger. Kenya is a bullet. You cannot stop the partnership between Nigeria and Kenya. We have come here to trigger the bullet so that the bullet will be shot to the nations of the earth. Even as I say, yeah. yeah. So any lunatic saying going back to Nigeria is a fool because we are not going back. We are going forward. We are going forward. The warriors in this land will arise. The authentic apostles in Kenya are going to arise. The authentic prophets are going to arise. The genuine prophets are going to arise in this nation. And the case of her shall not prevail against it. Can I allow him in the house? It can't prevail. All the charlatans and con men are Ishmael. Isaac has arrived. Tell never you are the Isaac. I didn't hear you cry. It says you are the Isaac. You are not an Ishmael. You are the Isaac generation. Give God a mighty shout of praise. So in this army, there will be prophets not by titles, but by content. There will be apostles not by titles, but by content. There will be fiery stones of Zion scattered across the land to impart the nations of the earth. Let God arise and let his enemy be scattered. This is a prophetic combination that the sons of Isaac should understand and begin to behave themselves. I came here as a trigger because you are the bullet. I said, I came here as a trigger because you are the bullet. I came here as a trigger. You are the bullet. It's a combination made in heaven. Assemble on earth. No man did it. We never choose to be here. The Bible says in the book of Acts, God determined our boundaries. He carved out the nation of Kenya, carved out the nation of Nigeria, put us right in the trigger, put you right in the bullet. So the devil is in trouble. He's in trouble. He's in trouble. Nobody on earth can reverse this. You know why? The Bible said the counsel of the Lord shall stand. This is the counsel of the Lord. He 
शीशा स्थान So one of the major thing God is doing here the bullet need to be prepared that is part of my job we need to prepare the bullet grease it polish it shape it are you understanding me work on it put truth in it put the revelation right put the anointing put the prophetic anointing put the apostolic anointing put the boldness the bullet needs put the cutting edge the bullet needs that is my job that is my job if you see any sorcerers coming from nigeria to meet your fellow sorcerers in kenya tell them your time is over i call that demonic cross copulation demonic cross what copulation that was also that was what was happening in kenya thieves from nigeria come to thieves in kenya and they assemble and steal from you and go then thieves from kenya go to thieves in nigeria they steal from them and come it is a thief free ministry and god saw it and said how long shall the enemy how long shall he hold my people the hour has come for the nonsense to stop the hour has come for the wickedness to stop this is the hour this is the time only the sons of isaac will understand what i'm saying this word is for the sons of isaac that's why god is saying to them they are called men here there are also ghost men god has a word for everybody we are going to prophesy the judgment of god on con men because the bullet must be prepared the con men are preventing the bullet for being prepared the thieves the prophetess the witches and wizards that call themselves prophetess the preachers of first fruit and firstborn all those rapists you call pastors they are going about destroying the life of people in this nation they are attacking the bullet and god is saying no more my bullet must be prepared my bullet must arise my bullet must shoot down devils you are god's bullet I announce to you all oh, Kenya hear the word of the Lord you are God's bullet if you're a politician hear me you are God's bullet if you're a medical doctor hear me you are God's bullet whatever you are as a Kenyan anywhere in the world you are God's bullet That is who you are. I don't care what people call you. I don't care what people call you. God has called you my bullet. My bullet. I will shoot you against Goliath. I will shoot you against Goliath. I will shoot you against Goliath. You are my bullet. Pray the Holy Ghost if you can. Rekaba Satanekaya Baba. Rema makana le kopa satale Rekaba satale kayaba You are God's bullet to be cooked by the Holy Ghost to be prepared with power to be prepared with power You are God's bullet in this land My job is to walk the work of you that sent me and to finish it You are God's bullet you are God's bullet to be shot to the nations. In Jesus' name we pray.